This is Desert Reptile 98, and I'm here with my iguana, my green iguana, Lizzie. She's a nice gal, you know. It's pretty hot right now. She's in the shade. She was uh, in the basking. But then I also have a update on this cage, and it is that I have a red iguana. He's a little camera shy. Um, he's gonna be trying to get him out for these couple of. I um... oh, can't eat that, buddy. It's bad for you. Actually, that is poisonous tree. But uh, he should be smart enough not to eat it. Which is my iguana is. She uh, she bit into it and then she lets go of it. Like, oh, it tastes nasty. And that's how they can tell if they're poisonous or not. It won't harm them if they taste it, but if they consume it, they might get sick. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, my new red, e green iguana. Green, red iguana. It's still classified as iguana iguana. And uh, it's just a uh, colored pigment is different. This one has a lot of green and a lot of brown stains on top of her. And she is a female, but I got her off of Craigslist, him off of Craigslist, and it says it's a male, and it does look like a male. So uh, hopefully she'll grow, he'll grow pretty big. And he, already, he looks not too small for her size. I mean, it's just all right. I could fit in there. Pretty good, but yeah, she he is very tame. I don't know what to name him. I'll probably name him something, or like Colorado or something. I don't know. There he goes, climbing up. But it's cool. He has orange or red on his back, but he has green. I don't know if you can see it. He has a green stomach. As you can see, he has a green stomach. I don't know if I can get any closer. He has a green stomach. Which is cool. And his formorial pores aren't so big, so... Um, yeah, but you can see right there. Right there, you can see his... Uh, his spine... Uh, what are they called? Crests. His crest is pretty large at the top where his head is and then it gets smaller so he, you can tell he is a male hopefully he looks to be a male which is good That's what I wanted uh, yeah you can't really see him in this shade so I'm gonna wait till he gets down in the Sun or something and then I'll show you so well meanwhile I'll show you something else so I tell you that I got these turtles off of Craigslist too for free. Um, one of them is in here, and she is a big, big one. I wasn't expecting this size, and you can see she's really huge, too big for this pond, and she's really aggressive. Uh, I don't know. I'm probably gonna keep her because she likes to stay in the pond, so that's cool. But I have another one that likes to get out. Like my other turtle, and he was also free on Craigslist, and he came with the female ready slider, and he's creating a ruckus over here. And that is this guy. The ready slider, or just a slider, because I don't see his red ear. And he is pretty big, man. This guy's a... His shell's all corroded because all he does is get out of the pond and just explore. He's cool. He can't get out of my, my yard though unless he climbs a rock wall because that gate over there is pretty cockroach tight. Only cockroaches get in through there. So I'm going to let him roam around do his thing. I don't really have to worry about it. I'm gonna throw him in the pond. I, I think this is funny right here. Let me show you a little something. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna throw him in the pond, okay? And he's gonna come right back up and start walking. He's the type of turtle that doesn't know his instincts. Instincts. And you know, most turtles, when you say they're outside basking and you see them uh, and you walk up to them, they'll probably jump in, right? Because they're scared. 
it's their instinct to to hide from water but this guy he's the opposite you, he sees you walking towards the water he'll get out for some reason i don't know why so i'm gonna throw him in there it's not gonna hurt him you know he see how fast he comes up boom he's up look look but if i walk away he he might just uh stay in the pond and he's the reason the pond is so dirty because he just walks around this whole vicinity and just gets it real dirty you can see i put rocks over there for the little ones when i put them in there they don't get out as much and walk around like he does but since he's huge this fence is nothing to him he just plows right through it it's cool i don't mind he can't get out of my yard so i wouldn't really worry about him i'm just gonna back away slowly Okay, and then I'm going sh to show you an example later. Okay, let's see if Mike want to move. There you go, he's uh, moved a little bit. Ah, the sunlight is really harsh with the shade. Man, he's warm right now. They're both warm. Yeah, let me see. Uh... Uh, you can't tell. I can't see his color. But yeah, he is really, really uh, orange. More then red, which is cool. I like that color. I like orange. And this guy, this girl right here is just green. She's real curious about him. And when I, when I put him, uh, when I first introduced her, I got the iguana in my hand, and I put it up to her like this. And right away, she she got her, she put her dewlap out in aggression towards me. But then as soon as she saw the the iguana here, she put it right back in, and she started bobbing her head like she was wild. And I thought it was really strange. I should have recorded that, but and yeah, she was like, oh, like in submission already. You know what I mean? She's kind of scared of him. And right away, when I showed him her, when I showed this iguana to Lizzie, he put out his do lap, kind of like, hey, I'm a male, so don't mess with me. Either because of that, or because he was scared of the bigger iguana. But yeah, she was a, uh, she likes to balance herself. Man. It's just an update or just a video I guess I always say update I gotta stop saying that word yeah that's pretty much it he's pretty tame when the guy handed him to me uh, he was like cool with it and he let me pet him and stuff he's not too crazy he's just kind of scared of the camera right now You'll like it, man. He looks cool. Man, I gotta fix that. I don't know what happened there. It was covered, I guess, tore or something. Doesn't look full. There you go, it's better, I guess. It's like a bald spot right here. Yeah. Well, anyways, I'll let him adjust to his surroundings and then that's pretty much it. Deserve Reptile 98. Let me show you that turtle that's really weird. Watch, I'm gonna walk up to him. Okay, I'm walking. Okay, check this out. He's, he has his head out, right? He's gonna put it in, and then he's gonna freaking run. Let's see. He's like, hmm. All you seem to do is not harm me. Watch, check this out. Hopefully, hopefully he starts do like... I'm gonna get over here. Thank you. It's crazy. Put another foot in. And his instinct is just to get out. I'm like, no, that's bad. Why are you getting it, buddy? Yeah, he's a big boy, man. He's I gotta get a bigger pond for these. Maybe I'll give him to the zoo. And it's cool because I volunteered for the zoo not too long ago, so if I see that there's a spot for these guys to go in, I'm gonna go ahead and give them to the zoo. And uh, I probably shouldn't do this, but, well, I probably could, I could anyways. But um, I see some reptiles in there, since I'm a reptile guy, and you guys are viewers of this reptile channel, or the few of you. Uh, I will do video in the zoo, so I can show you the reptiles in the zoo, give a little bit of information on where they're from and stuff like that. That would be cool. I don't know what to name him. I'm going to name him Shadow, and then I'm going to name the other one... Uh, Darkness, uh, shadow in the darkness. Hey. Or what is it, ghost in the shadow or something like that? Those two lions. Nah, shadow in the darkness. Those guys are good. That's pretty much it. Desert Reptile 98. 
new updates or new reptiles or whatever. And I said before, uh, you know, it's probably going to be more than this later on. But yeah. Let me just uh, end it with a couple other things. Planted another cactus. This one's from my grandma's backyard. And my grandma got this cactus from Mexico. It was imported from Mexico. I don't think this one's going to grow. It might not grow. It's too unstable. And this one's from the store, so it was refrigerated. So I don't know if it will grow or not. Hopefully it will. But this one will sure will grow. And that one's from Mexico, so it's a good one. It's, I think it's a green one. Because I know there's a, a Blanco and a Verde. But yeah. These guys ate some beetles today, so pretty cool. Oh, I got a nice turtle in there. Two turtles, nice. Who is that, Sidious or Veloz? Uh, looks like Veloz, but then again, it looks like Sidious. Anyways, let's go back to the iguana and get a better view of them. Okay, you can see uh, my iguana's relaxing there with his arms down. Her her arms down. I gotta get used to saying that. And then this guy getting some sunlight. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You don't like the camera? Yeah, he doesn't like the camera. My bad. We'll see what happens. Let's see what happens. What is gonna happen? Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Lizzie, don't be a dick and bite him. Careful, man. She's she's a tough girl. Oh shit! If shit goes south, I'm gonna stop this <laughs> the camera. Man, she's cool about it. Don't be a jerk. Don't be a jerk. You've been being a jerk. Don't be a jerk to this guy. He's new. He's gonna be your companion. Okay? He's gonna keep you happy. Yeah. That's cool. That's awesome. That's how I know he's a male. Cause males. You know what they usually do, they get on the highest treetop or get higher than the other iguanas and other people actually sometimes. And they just wave their dewlap like he did. Just to show that, hey, I'm a male, don't mess with me. I run this area. Or, you know, I'm good for mating and stuff. So that's cool to see. And females, they usually either protect their territory, because they do have territories too. And wave back at them or mate with them. Yeah, it's interesting to see. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, look, there he goes again. He's like, hey, I run this territory now. I'm a male. Your cage is my cage now. And she's like, oh, yeah? Bet. She didn't have a problem with it. I'll tell you a story later on. Because uh, I, I think this video is about to run out. But Well, just a quick story that uh, this one, when she was smaller than that guy and I had another iguana named Godzilla and she was about this size he was about this size sorry and he was a male and I remember this girl I thought he was the, the reason why I thought this one was a, a boy because when she was smaller than this guy um she uh waved her, her dewlap at him like hey don't come around here in this part of the tank and I had him in the 55 and this this guy was about you know Godzilla had about this size so it was like an uneven match you know adult to a baby so, uh, you know, he was like, oh yeah, this is my territory. So Godzilla ran and bit this one when she was small and bit right in the neck. And I thought she was going to die, man. She all around the neck, bad. She was bleeding. She looked sick. Had her for two days in a separate tank. And man, she looked horrible. I thought she was going to die, but she didn't. She made it, which is good. That's why you can see on her neck, it kind of looks grayish. And it's just like healed skin. Which is cool though, and she makes her this character now. So when he does that, he probably she probably has like flashbacks or something. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. Zerb Reptile 98. Tune in for more updates and how I feed these guys or how they're getting along and stuff. But yeah, just always check in. I'm gonna have new reptiles or uh, ones I've given away, you know, trades or whatever. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Zerb Reptile 98. Subscribe, comments, comments, please comments. I don't care if it's mean. 
I want to have an argument in the comments. I'm really good at arguing, so bet that you won't comment, you know. Not to brag or anything, but I, I rule the comments, okay? That's why nobody's commented on my videos, because I am the king of my comments. So, yeah, comment my other videos. They're pretty stupid, so I'll let you guys uh, attack those. It's Deserve Reptile 98. Laters.